Hurricane Agatha is rapidly intensifying throughout the day today on May 29th. It's currently located at 14.1 degrees north and 99.0 degrees west, moving very slowly at a turtle moving speed off towards the north northeast at 2 miles per hour. Right now, the storm has winds of 85 miles per hour, that's 135 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 981 millibars. National Hurricane Center are due to update their information at about an hour for that the update comes out, and I imagine that they'll increase that wind speed up even further. Looking at the CDPS right now, we're looking at a very high-end Stage 5 right now, mainly driven by wind speed and rainfall. Stage 5 right now on the CDPS scale, and if this were to become a major hurricane at landfall, we would be 0.08 points away from Stage 6, so very high-end Stage 5 here. Devastating. So, looking at where the storm is located right now, just off the coast of the uh, of Mexico here, and we can see that northeastern wind field almost reaching onshore now with a 70 nautical mile wind field only on the northern side of the circulation as it pushes off towards the northeast. Right now, location distances from cities in miles 178 from Puerto Escondido, 196 from Medunte. You can see all those watches and warnings going on, on the bottom hand of your screen, by the way. 255 from Oaxaca, I've been in the pronunciation of that. 290 from Selena Cruz and 363 from Mexico City. And once again, those watches and warnings going across the bottom of your screen. And if for specific impacts to your area, stay tuned to your National Weather Service office or local meteorological service for the latest information for your specific area. Looking at the intensity estimates right now, AMSU and SATCON are horribly lagging behind on the SATCON, not so much, but AMSU completely lagging behind. Uh, National Hurricane Center is saying that they were mainly going with 85 miles per hour. We agree with that based on the Vorak estimates, and that seems pretty solid at this time. Looking at the National Hurricane Center forecast cone, that, that landfall time has once again been pushed back. Um, we, we were looking at perhaps a uh, 1 p.m. Central Time landfall about 12 hours ago, but now it looks like that it might be back to the afternoon hours again tomorrow. So just tossing and turning between um, between like the early afternoon and the uh, late afternoon hours. So uh, landfall is coming and it will be happening sometime tomorrow afternoon. Um, but I imagine it will be in the later parts of the afternoon tomorrow. Looking at sea surface temperatures right now, uh, they are pretty favorable under the storm. They have decreased a little bit due to upwelling of the storm. And um, of course, you know, with those sea surface temperatures upwelling, they aren't going to remain, they aren't going to be a, uh, an issue here, but ocean heat content certainly will be, as there is next to none of that in, the, in this region. Looking at the HWRF wind speed graph, still forecasting a low and major hurricane briefly, and look at that rainfall estimates, 32 inches or higher, that's a bit of an aggressive estimate, uh, let's look at how many areas are going to get heavy rainfall from this, a lot of areas. Looking at the RAM plot here, you can see the National Hurricane Center forecasting a 110 mile per hour peak, and I have any question that this could briefly become a major hurricane. Wind shear is forecast to be hit or miss at times, uh, but once this thing moves into land, wind shear is going to become more of an issue, but of course, it'll be dead by then. Uh, sea surface temperatures and relative humidity up until landfall in Mexico, not going to be an issue. It's more so just the storm's slow movement that's going to be its big issue, and its big inhibitor. Looking at the satellite imagery of it, this is quite impressive, I'm not going to lie, for a hurricane this far east in late May. We don't really see this in late May. Um, the last impressive hurricane that I can think of in May was probably a hurricane. Um, I forget its name back in 2014, which almost did like Highway 5. Amanda, there we go. Um, but yeah, solid core right now with this. Um, some rumors that the core might have just collapsed. We'll have to wait and see what the recon flight says. They're going into the storm in a few hours. Stay tuned to 413 to Outlet for the latest information on this extremely dangerous and rapidly intensifying hurricane approaching Mexico.